Before the written word recorded the deeds of mankind, art was the way ancient men shared their lives and the events that encompassed them. These include, or included painting on cave walls, weaving intricate designs in fabric and decorating pottery and ceramic vessels that were used in everyday life. But only few of these art forms have survived to be part of the modern world. Our correspondent Rafi Hamid tells us more in this report. Right from the beginning, artworks are done to convey message that will be shared by others. The recorded history of the Nigerian art can be traced back to less than 200 years of expression. Now, artworks have been advanced. Fine and applied arts is offered as a course in universities and other institutions of higher learning. Students major in different fields that include graphics, sculpture, ceramics, and painting. Here at the Obafemi Awolowo University, Ileife, thousands of students had passed through this department. The work is tedious and time consuming. So we are happy with the students this year because they, they, they've worked so hard in various aspects, graphics, sculpture, ceramics, uh, paintings. There is nowhere you get to that you don't find something so new. They're exploring materials, exploring themes, and so many other things. So, so far so good. We'll see that our students are still working. Here is the workshop where assemblage of metal junks are done. All these artworks tell different stories. The head, Department of Fine and Applied Arts of OAU, wants government to pay more attention to arts. I will know what aesthetics is. Aesthetics is satisfaction. Art is art. Art is life. Science, they discover. Technology, they bring out equipment. But art will bring out that skillfulness in them. It is we. Art. So, art of eating, art of dancing, it is our art. Because it brings satisfaction. That is what we need. After four years in the department, the students are now well equipped. There are struggles and challenges, but here you are. Here we are, it's our finals. Though there are some challenges that we face, especially in terms of finances, in terms of health, in terms of materials that we use in making our works, but all glory to God. Material-wise, um, equipment-wise, facilities-wise and all, because art is a very, very um, wide special, um, course. It's something that actually entails, like a tree that has lots of branches and all, and produces beautiful fruits. So the management could actually come in, in um, rendering facilities, equipment, and also um, funds, workshop experience to students that are not really privileged. Graduates of fine and applied arts need no white collar jobs to survive because of what they've gone through. We are all aware of what is going on in the country today. And we don't want our students getting out, looking for jobs here and there, and, not, and, being, and being stranded. You can be strapped, you can be stranded if you are not well prepared for it. So our preparation, what we prepare our students for actually, is not just for them to go out and start looking for jobs. It's for them to be productive. So the preparation we have here is not just preparing them to get a job. It's for them to build themselves so that they can be dependent. You know what I mean? Not be dependent, be dependent on people, but they be dependent on themselves. We have, uh, we have given them what is expected of us. They are very, very innovative. This side too, I know. I know that they will seize the world. Arts and entertainment have been proven to be huge revenue earner, if well earnest. In 2016, the sector contributed 54 billion naira to Nigeria's gross domestic product. The country is blessed with a deep pool of talents that only require enabling environment to thrive. Rafiu Hamid, TVC News, Ilaife.